Before we get started with the video, I'm currently hosting two giveaways in TMF Discord. The link is in the description. Make sure to join. In this video, I'll show you the fastest possible methods of getting both when and ores extremely fast. The first method will be when. This involves infinite dungeons. All you'll want to do is get as many points as possible. I suggest doing it in a group of five since more NPCs spawn and you'll get more points. If you want to survive longer solo, I have a video on my channel how to do it the easiest and best way, so check it out. Okay, so once the dungeon has finished and you're ready to spend the points you've gathered, you'll want to use an ore before you start spending. If you don't have any ores, watch after this video as I'll show you how to get more of them. I'll be starting at zero when to show you exactly how much I make from nearly 6,000 points. Okay, so using your ore, you'll want to buy a 2 times when for 15 minutes. You can also buy this with Robux too. It's your choice. Now just start spending your points. So, as you can see from 20 minutes of a dungeon, I was able to get 42,000 wen. This is better than any other wen making method out there, especially for such a short time of grinding. Now moving on to the ores. Since the selling of pots was taken out of the game due to a money dupe that happened. The best current way to get ores is from boss grinding, rotations. I'll show you the boss rotation in which I do when I'm farming bosses for loot and ores. First is Doma at the Devourer's Jaw. If you're unable to kill these bosses solo, I have a video on how to easily kill them. Or you could just kill them with a friend. Yes, copy what I do since it saves you running to a horse teleporter. Next boss is Rengoku at the Mist Trainer location. Now moving on to Tengen at the Sound Cave.
And lastly, a casa at Akiza Cave. And since you'll have to wait 15 minutes to kill those bosses, whilst waiting, you can either head down to Inosuke and Beast Cave or go to the Sound Trainee at the Sound Cave. You'll be able to kill either one of them around seven times before the 15 minutes bosses spawn again. Then just keep repeating that rotation over and over. Three mythics in one chest is pretty OP if you ask me. If you're wondering what accessories for luck I have on, I only have the Yadagarasu mask and the Ichimatsu Hauri. And of course not to mention you can get ores from trading, but it just depends if you have items worth trading for ores, since people don't usually hand out ores for any small worth item. Last good method to get ores, go to Wap City. Since the update, they have increased the ore to 25k, meaning you need to sell items that equal to 25k in order to turn it into one ore. All you'll want to do is just sell items in which you have a duplicate of. If you do the boss rotations, you're guaranteed to get many duplicates of mythics that are usually worth 3,500 each. As you see, one ore costs 25k worth of items. That's it for the best possible ways of getting ores and when. There are other little methods to obtain, but they're a lot slower and less effective than these I have shown you. Thanks for watching.